His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Secretary General of the GCC Jasima Mohammed Libdewi upon his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty welcomed the Secretary General and expressed appreciation for his efforts as well as the members of the General Secretariat in enhancing the GCC march and increasing coordination, cooperation and integration among member states for the benefit and prosperity of their people. His Majesty the King commended the achievements made by the Gulf Cooperation Council since its establishment in various areas of joint Gulf action, its high status on the regional and international arenas and its effective contributions to development and strengthening of fraternal ties between the Gulf countries and the people, in addition to establishing the foundations of security in the region. His Majesty congratulated the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry of Education and the GCC Secretariat General in the fields of education, training, studies, research and promoting knowledge within the framework of the General Secretariat's efforts to enhance coordination in the educational and cognitive aspects among GCC countries. For his part, Libdewi expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty for his directives and provide His Majesty's support for the General Secretariat's efforts and all its members to serve the Council's march. He praised Bahrain's active role under the leadership of His Majesty and its remarkable efforts to developing the Joint Gulf Action System and achieve its goals. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, deputant the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, put to patronize the opening ceremony of the DP World International Golf Tour held in Bahrain at the Royal Golf Club until February 4th. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed the hosting of the tour embodies the directives of His Majesty the King to host various international sports tournaments, adding that the golf receives the support of His Majesty. Upon His Highness's arrival, he was received by the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials and invitees. His Highness Sheikh Ali delivered a speech on the occasion, followed by a speech by the CEO of DP World Tour, Keith Pelly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Sumu Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al Khalifa, Mumathil Jalalat al Malik al-Amal al-Saniya wa Shoon al-Shabab, Rais al-Majlis al-Ala al-Shabab wal-Riyadha, Naab Ra'i al-Havel. As Sayyid Keith Pellet, Rais al-Tamfidi al-Majmu'at DP World al-Alamiya al-Golf, Ashab al-Sumu wal-Ma'ali wal-Sa'ada. الحضور الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسرني أن أرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب في حفل افتتاح جولة دي بي وولد العالمية للغولف التي تقام برعاية كريمة من حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظ الله ورعاه ويطيب لي بهذه المناسبة أن أرفع اسم آيات الشكر والامتنان إلى جلالة الملك المعظم على رعاية الكريمة والتي تعتبر امتدادا لدعم جلالة الحركة الرياضية وتوجه بالثناء لصاحب سمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد الخليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظ الله ورعاه على مساندة سموه للشباب والرياضة
كما يطيب لي أن أتقدم بخالص الشكر والتقدير إلى سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة على دعم سموه لا محدود للقطاعين الشبابي والرياضي أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة الحضور الكرام تحرص مملكة البحرين على استقطاب أكبر البطولات الرياضية تجسيدا للتوجيهات الملكية الهادفة إلى تعزيز مكانة الوطن وجعل المملكة وجهة رياضية بارزة وتنفيذا لتلك التوجيهات الكريمة وقبل عام من الآن نجحنا في إبرام عقد الشراكة مع مجموعة دي بي وولد العالمية للغولف مع تنفيذ كافة المعايير المطلوبة لاستضافة الحدث بالتعاون مع النادي الملكي للغولف ونفخر اليوم باستضافة جولة دي بي وولد العالمية والتي تعتبر أكبر بطولة على مستوى رياضة الغولف في تاريخ المملكة وعلى الإطلاق منذ استضافتها لأول مرة في عام 2011 لتعود مرة أخرى مسجلة هذه المرة أرغاما قياسية كبيرة بمشاركة 135 لاعب يمثلون أكثر من 30 دولة وفي الختام أتوجه بالشكر الجزيل لشركاء التنظيم وجميع الجهات ذات العلاقة مثمنا تعاون مجموعة دي بي وولد العالمية للغولف وثقتها في مملكة البحرين متمنيا للجميع المشاركين والبخص لاعبي منتخب البحرين الهواء التوفيق والنجاح والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Your Highness Sheikh Nasir bin Ahmad Al Khalifa His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs Your Excellencies distinguished guests first let me just say this is absolutely spectacular sensational i don't think i've seen an opening ceremony like this and i was just saying to his highness that i don't think we've seen a screen like that in fact that screen's bigger than we had in rome in 2022 so it is uh it is such a privilege and such an honor to be here uh, we are playing in 25 countries this year, but this is the first time that we've been back in Bahrain for 13 years, and it just feels so good. And it's great to have the players here, and uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more grateful. And there's a couple people I want to thank, and although he is not here, I want to thank Your Majesty King Ahmad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He has the vision and the passion. He loves our game. And uh, we just talked about it coming in, and, and he's invited us back to the beautiful kingdom of Bahrain, so we, we certainly thank his majesty. And thank you to your highness Sheikh Nasir and, and your highness Sheikh Khalid and your hospitality. You make us feel so great, and the players have talked about it, and they, 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 this wasn't like it was 13 years ago. And your hospitality and your, your gracious uh, welcome to all of us is so very much appreciated. Thank you, uh, too, and it's a pleasant surprise to, to hear that His Excellency Arif El Awani and the Abu Dhabi Sports Council, he's the head of the Abu Dhabi Sports Council, and his partnership that we've had with the Abu Dhabi Sports Council has been over 18 years, and their relationship with the Bahrain Olympic Committee is part of the reason that we are here, so thank you to Arif. And what Bahrain and the Bahrain Olympic Committee, under the direction of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, has achieved in such a short time is simply remarkable. Thank you to all involved, but particularly His Excellency Ferris El Koheji. We first met His Excellency Ferris back in Abu Dhabi, back with, with Arif. And to witness what has happened has been fantastic. First, to host the event and to get confirmation of that event. To secure the funding, and you heard about all of the sponsors that you can see, and there's many valued partners, and to have a presenting sponsorship like Babco Energies in the very first year, and understanding that this event will be broadcast in 180 countries to 580 million households, I know there will be more partnership and we can really build this event going forward. We're excited about that. The refurbishing of the golf course. I came back in October and we went around with Captain Walid and, and, and went around with Juan and 
talking to the players tonight and the ones that played back 13 years ago, this is a completely different golf course. It is, every single bunker has been changed. It is a world-class golf facility and it's a privilege and thank you to Ferris, thank you to, to Captain Walid, and thank you for, for Juan. So with, with that, I, I am just going to say on behalf of my chairman of the DP World Tour and everybody at the DP World Tour. Thank you to Bahrain. We're excited to start this new venture together, build on it, and what an unbelievable way to start. It is a privilege to be here as your guest. Thank you very much. The race is on in Bahrain. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the 50th edition of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition. His Highness highlighted the innovative, creative and cultural contributions made by Bahraini artists in various exhibitions and events. These contributions have played a pivotal role in showcasing the Kingdom's cultural and developmental accomplishments, which receive ongoing support from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness noted Bahrain's pride in the contributions of its people to local and international events and exhibitions. His Highness highlighted the significant role of the exhibition in showcasing the kingdom's cultural and artistic progress, supporting young talents and enriching regional artist movements. His Highness commended the efforts of the exhibition's organizers and wished them continued success. His Highness toured the exhibition where he was briefed on a wide range of artwork from different art movements. For his part, the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for sponsoring the exhibition, which serves a beacon of creativity and art in Bahrain. He added that the celebration of the exhibition's Golden Jubilee symbolizes its long standing journey of creativity in showcasing the kingdom's fine arts. He emphasized that the exhibition's 50th edition is a tribute to Bahrain's history of creativity and innovation and embodies the kingdom's ongoing commitment to developing the cultural and artistic movement. Sheikh Khalifa expressed delight in the ongoing support of the kingdom's cultural initiative, expressing thanks to His Highness for inaugurating the exhibition. During the opening ceremony, awards were given to the winners of the Bahrain Annual Fine Arts Exhibition. The judges panel awarded the Adana Award to Hisham Sharif and Jafar Al Haddad. Meanwhile, the Al Rawaq Art Spaces Artistic Vision Prize was won by Sharaf Ali. This year's exhibition will offer several side exhibitions that honor and celebrate Bahraini art in the last 50 years, in addition to several exciting workshops and seminars. 
The exhibition will open free of charge until the end of April. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met with the ministers and heads of delegations of countries and organizations participating in the Digital Cooperation Organization DCO Third General Assembly hosted by Bahrain. The meeting discussed the organization's plans and initiatives aimed at promoting digital prosperity. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed Bahrain's support under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for all initiatives aimed at enhancing cooperation and coordination at the international and institutional levels in digital technologies. 
The Deputy Prime Minister explained that the government has worked on implementing a strategy aimed at developing the ICT sector and the digital economy 2022 to 2026, which was designed to make the kingdom a center for digital innovation in the region and an attraction for leading companies in the field of advanced technology. He noted that the government's strategy will contribute to creating more qualitative opportunities for citizens to achieve the aspirations of the government's program for the years 2023 to 2026, the objectives of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, and the Sustainable Development Goals. Sheikh Khalid praised the role of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Chairperson of D DCO Mohammed Al Kabi during his tenure as Chairperson of the current session, which was characterized by presenting innovative initiatives on behalf of Bahrain and playing an effective role in encouraging cooperation and facilitating innovation and digital transformation. He congratulated Jordanian Minister of Digital Economy and Entrepreneurship Ahmed El Hanada on the transfer of the presidency of the fourth session to his country. For his part, El Kabi expressed gratitude to the Deputy Prime Minister for his encouragement that reflects the government's support headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to achieve the goals of the organization. Bahrain is hosting the third General Assembly of the Digital Cooperation Organization chaired by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Chairperson of the Digital Cooperation Organization Council, Mohammed Al Kabi, to discuss the organization's plans and initiatives aimed at promoting digital prosperity. The meeting is held in the presence of ministers and officials from representatives of the member states of the Digital Cooperation Organization and the Secretary General of the organization, Dima Al Yahya, with the aim of discussing strategic initiatives that strengthen global digital cooperation. The meeting discussed the market growth and the impact of the digital economy, the value of data as a strategic source to the digital age, and how to use it effectively to achieve growth. It also discussed the means of achieving sustainable digital economy that improves the quality of life and enhances the role of human as an essential element in the development process. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, held a meeting with the Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Peter Siarto, on the sidelines of the Bahraini Hungarian Joint Economic Commission. The meeting discussed enhancing bilateral relations in various fields, focusing on the joint efforts of the Bahrain Hungary Joint Economic Commission to develop economic, trade, and investment cooperation. The two ministers discussed regional and international developments, current issues, and challenges affecting international peace and security. They emphasize the importance of efforts in global conflicts, including the Ukraine and Gaza Strip conflicts, achieving stability, benefit to humanity, and advance the Middle East peace process. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade co-chaired the Bahrain-Hungary Joint Economic Commission. The Hungarian minister said that the meeting will enhance the existing cooperation in the economic, trade and investment fields, praising the progress and development achieved by the bilateral relations at all levels. Dr. Zayani stressed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen and develop the existing bilateral relations, noting the importance of exchanging high-level visits between the two countries, which contribute to consolidating and strengthening these relations. The two sides discussed economic, environmental, educational, cultural, energy and agricultural cooperation, reviewing ways to increase trade exchange and attract investments and opportunities to enhance coordination in food security and modern technology. The meeting reviewed the importance of supporting joint political and diplomatic work, enhancing cooperation in political consultations, diplomatic training, and exchanging support in international forums. The two sides discussed pressing regional and international challenges and issues related to security and stability in the Middle East and Europe. They stressed the necessity of ending wars and settling all regional and international conflicts by peaceful means in a way that preserves international peace and security and achieves a global prosperity and development. The developments in the situation in the Middle East were also discussed, including the Palestinian cause, the ongoing war in the Gaza Strip, and the tragic situation of Palestinian civilians in light of the failure to deliver humanitarian aid to the people of Gaza.
the two ministers signed the minutes of the commission meeting and the discussions on aspects of cooperation, ways to develop them and the program to be implemented to expand a coordination. The two sides agreed on holding the next meeting of the commission in Bahrain next year. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs held a press conference on the Bahrain-Hungary Joint Economic Commission meeting. Dr. Zayani expressed gratitude for the meeting of the President of Hungary, praising the interest of the President attaches to bilateral relations and the importance of continuing joint efforts to expand cooperation in all fields. The Minister noted the success of the meeting, stressing that the two sides decided to implement the decisions reaching during the meeting. And to hold the third meeting of the Commission in Bahrain next year. The latest uh, developments in the Middle East, the Palestinian coups, the tragic war in the Gaza Strip and its repercussions on regional security and stability were discussed. Dr. Zayani stressed Bahrain's a firm stance in this regard, which calls for an immediate stop of the war to protect civilians, to release all hostages and detainees, to ensure the humanitarian and relief aid reaches the Gaza Strip. He said that the two sides discussed the importance of supporting efforts aimed at combating terrorism and extremism organizations and protecting international navigation in the Red Sea and Bab al Mandeb to ensure freedom of international trade and global food supplies. The Hungarian minister stressed that the friendly relations between the two countries are becoming stronger and are achieving good results. He praised the firm stance of the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting efforts to establish peace and combat global terrorism. Stressing that Bahrain achieved historic political achievements and created hope for the possibility of coexistence among people of the religion and security, peace and stability. He noted the development of cooperation, especially in the economic and investment fields, as it was agreed to finalize the number of MOUs in the field of investment. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also participated in the roundtable organized by the Diplomatic Training Academy in Budapest on the occasion of the meeting of the Joint Economic Committee. The meeting aims to exchange views on contemporary global issues and challenges in confronting them. The minister spoke about the political security and humanitarian challenges facing the Middle East, stressing the interdependence of goals and interests between the Middle East and the European Union. He also stressed the need to work to establish a comprehensive and sustainable peace in the region. A dialogue was held on regional security and stability and international approaches to ending conflicts and maintaining international peace and security. The Minister of Education and University of Bahrain Board of Trustees Chairman Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jum'a received the GCC Secretary General Jasim Mohammed Libdewi. The Minister and the GCC Secretary General signed an MOU aimed at enhancing cooperation in education, training, conducting studies, research and promoting knowledge. The MOU comes within the GCC General Secretariat's keenness to enhance joint efforts and education among GCC countries. The minister hailed the Council's keenness to enhance cooperation in the educational and scientific research fields and promote relations with educational institutions and research centers. The Secretary General hailed UOB's advanced academic level and its role in implementing studies and programs that contribute to developing national capabilities. Chairman of the Board of Directors of the GCC Commercial Arbitration Center, Saleh bin Hamad al sharqi and the Secretary General of the Center, Dr. Kamal Al Hamad, received GCC Secretary General Jasim Mohammed Libdewi during his visit to the center's headquarters in Bahrain. The center's chairman and secretary general expressed their pride in the pivotal role played by the GCC secretary general in fostering cooperation among the GCC countries across various productive and service sectors. During the visit, the GCC secretary general was briefed on the significant role of the center in establishing a regulatory and appealing investment environment within the GCC countries and what the center provides as rapid professional services in settling disputes and spreading the culture of arbitration.
Deputy Prime Minister of Djibouti Ali Hassan Behdoun received Arab Parliamentary Speaker Adil bin Abdurrahman al Assoumi during his official visit to Djibouti. The Djiboutian official praised the comprehensive development process achieved by Bahrain in all fields under the directives of His Majesty the King. He also praised the progress achieved by the Kingdom in various fields, hailing the distinguished bilateral relations. He appreciated the efforts made by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the efforts of His Royal Highness in supporting and strengthening joint Arab action. The Bocha team players were able to win two gold medals and two bronze medals at the 4th West Asian Bara Games Sharjah 2024. The members of the team's technical staff expressed their pride in the players' performance and successes at the beginning of the games, expecting the team to achieve more successes in the upcoming competitions. These achievements come within the framework of the continuous development of Bocha and Bahrain and reflect the Kingdom's commitment to encouraging and supporting athletes to achieve their full potential in sports. 